Our third recipient is Sal Estrada, Deputy Director of Tierra del Sol HDC, Las Cruces, New Mexico. Sal, would you please join us on the podium? You know, Sal, Salvador Estrada has 36 years of working experience in the development of affordable housing in New Mexico and West Texas. He is currently Deputy Director of Tierra del Sol Housing Corporation in Las Cruces, New Mexico. During his tenure of employment with Tierra del Sol Housing Corporation, he has been a part of the growth of the organization from a single purpose housing provider to a multifaceted housing developer which is recognized as a leading nonprofit producer of single family and multifamily housing in New Mexico and West Texas. He served as interim executive director of Tierra del Sol and housing director over the course of years, which uh, was responsible for the operations of the self-help housing program, housing rehabilitation, multifamily housing, and coordination of property management. With the expansion of Tierra del Sol's Multifamily Housing Properties Institute and an asset management program, he is the staff liaison to the Board of Directors in Nonprofit Organizational Management and Board Governance, Strategic Planning, and Resource Development. In 1987, he formed the Housing and Economic Rural Opportunity, Inc to partner with Tierra del Sol in the development of rural subdivisions to provide buildings, sites for Tierra del Sol's single family housing under the self-help program. In addition to his duties of deputy director for Tierra del Sol, he is the executive director of Housing and Economic Rural Opportunity, Inc. Under his leadership, HERO has partnered with Tierra del Sol multifamily housing development team in the construction of multifamily housing for special populations such as farm workers and supportive housing for the elderly with funding sources from HUD, USDA Rural Housing Services, the New Mexico Mortgage Financial Finance Authority, and the Texas Department of Housing and Community Affairs. His experience includes technical assistance and capacity building services, working with nonprofit organizations, housing authorities and private developers to develop a wide range of multifamily rental housing project serving uh, rental housing to project serving farm workers. He represents the interests of farm workers on the board of directors in uh, La Clinton, La Clinton, okay, how does that say this? <laughs> a, a rural health clinic in, in, in southern New Mexico. He is a member of the Ag Workers Access 2020 campaign for the uh, National Center for Farm Worker Health and an increase the number of farmers to assist uh, health services at rural health clinics and has part participated in the National Advisory Council on Migrant Health to address issues of farm worker health and its connection to housing. He is a member of the Board of Directors for Services for Seniors Incorporated a local nonprofit and provide services for the elderly and sponsors farm workers. He is active in community services as a volunteer with a mobile food pantry with the Road Runner Food Bank of New Mexico and volunteers at El Cladito Food Kitchen for the Homelessness. Congratulations, Stel. I'm glad you could find time to show up. You know. <laughs> Well, I can tell you, Kay, that I am honored to receive the uh, Skip Jason Community Services Award. And I do, I do so with the understanding and recognition that this award has been presented to many individuals over the course of the years whose careers have been dedicated to community service in advancing 
the agenda of building up uh, rural America. Their stellar performance and reputations is awe-inspiring for the work in, their, in the trenches to develop affordable housing and with it the community and economic development of rural areas in the country that, has, that seemed and appeared to have been le uh, left behind. I thank the uh, Housing Assistance Council, its board of directors, its executive director, David Lipset, for this honor. When I learned of the award in a letter from David, I thought back to the 1970s, and I am basically an historian at heart. Uh, I have books and more books and more books, and my house has a lot of shelves of books. But one of the things I remembered was a little red booklet that was entitled Platform for Rural America. This was a publication produced at the first uh, national conference for rural America, and the copy that I have is the revision in 1977, 41 years ago, which represented the official principles and policy recommendations of rural America. It, out, it outlined a program of action and contained a brief statement of problems facing rural America, and it proposed several ways of solving those problems. In it, and it struck me again because I've seen it time and again, the reference to the uh, Housing Act of 1949. And in the Housing Act of 1949, Congress declared that the general welfare, the safety of the nation, the health and living standards of its people Re, uh, require the realization of the goal of a decent home and a suitable living environment for every American family. For us, for us many in this room, it became our calling. It defined our careers. And more importantly, it became our mission. My first job in public service in the 1970s, and it was with an organization that provided technical assistance for the development and operations of mutual domestic water associations. Uh, these water systems were located throughout New Mexico. Our company had con uh, contracts with a number of these uh, water associations, and we provided services not only in the operation, the management, and the maintenance of these water systems. It was uh, during this uh, time that I met a woman uh, who was a member of the board of directors of a mutual domestic water association. This woman would come to her office on her way home from work to sign checks for her water association that we managed. Our business relationship was at best tentative. We didn't particularly maybe like each other, but nonetheless, okay, we exchanged pleasantries and went on our ways. This woman is Rose Garcia. Four uh, years uh, after she became executive director of Tierra del Sol in A Leap of Faith, she hired me and thus began my work in developing rural housing. It is what has become a lifetime career, if you will, 36 years. And it's this commitment to the development of affordable housing for rural America, uh, rural families who were living in deplorable condition in our service area. So like uh, Joe indicated, uh, in part, the Skip Jason Award is really not an award uh, for one person, but the reality is that it is made possible by many individuals who have worked, and in my case, supported my work at Tierra del Sol. It is only fitting for me to acknowledge them and acknowledge also the unrelenting challenges, the critiques, the tremendous professional development opportunities that Rose Garcia provided to me because she was and continues to be one of my staunchest supporters and one of the most influential people in my professional life. Early on, one lesson that I learned from her was never take no 
for an answer. <laughs> when I came to work at Terra del Sol in 18, uh, 1982, I soon discovered the overwhelming existence of physically inadequate and outright bad housing along the colonias of the border corridor between the United States and Mexico. As most of you all know, and I'm not telling you anything new, this was complicated by lower incomes, less credit, less capital, and fewer national banks and lending institutions necessary to carry uh, the or necessary rather to deliver housing. In my work, it would have been easy to take no for an answer. However, the end result is the growth of Tierra del Sol as a leading producer of affordable housing in southern New Mexico and West Texas. And if you would indulge me in a moment, a personal note, I say that I am proud for the, most, uh, for the small part that I played in growing what seemingly was a single purpose corporation and organization that was primarily developing single family housing under the self-help program. And that grew then to become an organization of multiple lines of business. My main interest in working at Tierra del Sol has been two very special populations. Number one, the elderly, and number two, farm workers. And uh, for these uh, two populations, eventually it became obvious to me that there is in fact a third with a special interest in children, which encompasses therefore a wide spectrum of affordable housing in the area that we work with. Again, the elderly, farm workers, and families with children. And I could tell you stories and stories and stories but I was advised, okay, that I should not take more than 10 minutes. <laughs> that I, again, uh, tell you something that you probably already know and well know, and that is that the, uh, tremendous strides have been taken since the publication of that uh, document, Platform for Rural America. And together with many of you who are here, we have achieved great results in reordering priorities to provide more access and make resources more equitable when it comes to rural housing. I do not need to tell you that there is still much, much work to be done. The American dream of home ownership for many Americans continues to be just that, a dream. And we must continue to work in the spirit and dynamics that came to be identified with Skip Jason. Never met the man. But I know, again, based on reputation, that we must continue to address the problems of rural housing with a persistent, combative, advocacy spirit that characterized the likes of Skip Jason. We must continue to work together in partnerships, collaborations, coalitions, consortia to continue our mission and to achieve the success of closing the gap between urban and rural areas of the country. That is why I say I thank God for you. I thank God for you. I thank God for you because together we can and we will continue to make a difference. And I leave you with these words, never take no for an answer. <laughs>